really yeah. doesn't look as like new and neat and bells and whistles and stuff. I think patrons are really going to like Libby better. Why should I promote this? That's, that's a valid concern and a really great question. Um, you know, simply E, the interface is minimal. It is uncomplicated. It doesn't have all of the same uh, bells and whistles as Libby, um, but it is easier to use in that way. And one of the goals of the Simply E app is to um, extend uh, ebook and e, e audiobook use to patrons that may have never used a mobile application to, to use those types of content from your library before. Um, so because of that, um, you know, bells and whistles can be complicated to folks who are, are entirely new to this environment, especially in 2020. Um, and a, another goal of the, the app is to allow patrons to easily navigate to a title that's available um, it doesn't put them in a mile long holds queue that would be frustrating for them or they can't find anything to read because everything's checked out. Um, so the goal is that within less than five taps, a patron who is, you know, very seasoned in ebooks and e-audiobooks or is entirely new will have something on their device ready to read or listen to. Um, so as I mentioned, it highlights available titles and, and prefers those over things that have really long checkout queues um, in, the, in the browse display of your catalog. And the other thing about Simply is that it is open source. So there's an open source community that you can join. Um, if there are features or functions that you think need to be developed, there's a community to, to uh, start communicating with and let them know like, hey, this is important to my library. How do we make this happen um, within, within the, the program? So uh, I, I would encourage you if there are specific things that you're thinking you know uh, our patrons would really want, we can join the community and we can we can start chatting with other libraries who are using Simply across across the country.